begin with this dangerous police chase on Charlotte Street and on foot. It sent innocent people into the hospital and shut down part of North Tryon Street. Chopper 9 Chat captured the terrifying moments right here from overhead with witnesses watching suspects running from police minutes after shooting at an innocent man. Now we brought you the story as breaking news earlier today at noon right after the chase ended. Eyewitness News anchor Liz Foster has been following the developments all day live now to walk us through what happened after Liz you talked to police and some witnesses out there. Erica Paul, the police chase ended with a three car crash right here. And one witness told me she saw the suspect to get out of the car, run across his parking lot and jump not one, but two barbed wire fences. Thankfully, police caught him and listen to what he said as paramedics were loading him into an ambulance. Only Channel 9's cameras caught one suspect yell that to a friend as paramedics were loading him into an ambulance. Minutes before, police say he and this suspect in handcuffs led officers on a chase that ended when the silver Dodge Charger the suspects were in collided with two other cars in this construction zone on North Tryon Street. We only chased for very serious offenses. The chase wasn't just in cars. Police say at least one of the two suspects got out and ran in this busy shopping center. You have to see this. Chopper 9 captured the moment the suspect jumped a barbed wire fence as officers closed in on him. Police say just 30 minutes before all of this, the two suspects robbed a man at gunpoint for power tools. Witnesses on Dakota Street told me the robbery happened outside this home. When he confronted them, they actually fired a round at him. Police quickly warned officers to be on the lookout for the suspect's vehicle, launched the CMPD chopper to find it and learned one of the suspects may have an electronic monitoring bracelet from a previous crime. Uh, scary. Muhammad Nagore works at this clothing shop right in front of where the chase ended. He was late opening the store because he arrived as the business parking lot became a crime scene. I, I was like very like excited what's going on here. I, I thought it's something shooting or something. <laughs> Were you, you know? scared? Yes. Thankfully, the man robbed this morning was not hurt, and the one innocent person who went to the hospital after colliding with the suspect's car is expected to be okay. Erica? Now, Liz, I know we know that one suspect was already wearing an electronic monitoring bracelet during all this. What do we know about him? Well, CMPD has not released the suspect's names or charges, so I haven't been able to look at their criminal record yet, but we know at least one was out of jail until a court date for another crime because of that electronic monitor. Erica. All right. Thank you, Liz.